The World Economic Forum just said this. The United States is on the verge of an historic electric renewable energy boom, one that is unprecedented and one it doesn't even know is coming, but it's right here on its doorstep. And I believe it may have just started. The IEA says that more than a third, in fact, around 40% of the entire planet's energy will come from renewables in 2025. That's amazing. Compared to where we're at only a few years ago, the difference is staggering. The World Economic Forum predicts that 358 gigawatts of new solar capacity will be deployed between 2023 and 2030. That's three times the installed base that the entire world has today. Three times. That may sound optimistic. Some of the pessimists are saying it won't happen. But if you look at what has just happened over the first three months of this year, it might already be happening. I can't find anyone reporting on this but I can find the financial numbers, which actually prove that we've just hit the largest solar boom in the history of mankind. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm the Electric Viking. I'm actually coming to you from Jom Tien, which is in Thailand. I'd never heard of it before. I came here, and I'm here because, well, you all know why. But if you're new to the channel, if you're a new subscriber, basically my wife's here doing cancer treatments at the moment for stage four cancer, and it was the best place to come for those treatments. Now you'd think Thailand would be cheap. It's not if you want the treatment that might save your life. Now I asked this question to ChatGPT 4.0, the latest version of ChatGPT's artificial intelligence which is, it's amazing, but it is limited, unfortunately, because its data only goes up until the end of 2021. I said, is solar cheaper than coal? Well, we all know there's been many tenders worldwide for solar over the past six months, where the price of solar has been insanely cheap, about one third the cost of coal. In some cases, even less. Here's what ChatGPT said. The cost of solar energy has been decreasing rapidly in recent years, making it increasingly competitive with traditional energy sources like coal. While the exact cost comparison varies depending on specific factors such as location, project scale, local conditions, etc., solar energy has become more cost competitive and cheaper than coal in most regions on the earth. It then lists five compelling reasons for why solar energy is more economically favorable right now than coal and why it is clearly the future of the world's energy source. Now, one of these is the fact that 80% of the world's population live on the sun belt, as in, in the sunniest places on earth, Africa, India, Southeast Asia, you see my point. So chat GPT-4, this is what it said. Number one, declining solar panel costs. The cost of solar panels has decreased enormously over the past decade due to technological advancements, economies of scale, and increased manufacturing efficiency. This reduction in solar panel costs has made solar energy more affordable and accessible. Improved efficiency. Solar panels have become more efficient in converting sunlight into electricity, allowing for higher energy generation from a given panel size. Improved efficiency means more electricity electricity can be produced, reducing the overall cost per kilowatt hour generated. Number three, scale and mass deployment. As solar energy, installations have expanded enormously worldwide. Economies of scale have started to really kick into play. Large scale solar projects benefit from lower per unit cost due to bulk purchasing, streamlined installation processes, and optimized operations and maintenance. Operational cost advantages. Solar energy has lower operational and maintenance costs compared to any other energy source on earth, including fossil fuel based power plants like coal. Solar installations have minimal fuel costs and require less ongoing maintenance, resulting in cost savings over the lifetime of the system. Number five, environmental considerations. Transitioning to solar energy helps avoid costs associated with environmental and health impacts of coal combustion including air pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, 
and climate change mitigation efforts. The general trend globally is that solar energy is becoming more and more cost effective. Now, I also asked ChatGPT 4.0, what is going to happen to America's solar? What's gonna to happen to America's energy transition? What will happen when, how? I'll have a new video on that, by the way, coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe and I'll share that with you. Now, unfortunately, ChatGPT doesn't have access to the latest information that I do or that you do if you want to look this up yourself. China's leading solar panel manufacturers, the three biggest solar panel companies in the world by market share, they own well over 70% of global solar panel production. Three. This is basically a monopoly here. No one talks about this. It's strange. However, these three companies just increased their revenue by figures that show that solar panel sales have ballooned at historic rates. The media will soon report on this within probably the next couple of months. I don't know why, but they're not actually picking up on this data at the moment, but this is historic. Right now, if you look at these numbers, these numbers are mind blowing. So what has happened here? Why are, why are we seeing mind blowing numbers? Now I'm gonna share with you the numbers, but first of all, some context is needed. Okay, solar panel prices have gone, come down by 30% this year over the first quarter of the year because the cost of the materials being used in the panels has come down massively as well. Plus, these three companies have ignited a price war. They've ignited a price war, which has meant downwards, massive downwards pressure on prices. If your solar panel installer isn't going to give you an amazing deal, well, wait, because they will. It's just a matter of time. Jinko Solar, of the world's four largest solar companies, Jinko Solar posted revenue of five billion dollars that's an increase of 58 percent versus the same quarter last year 58 percent that's pretty insane and considering the price of solar this year is cheaper than what it was 12 months ago how do they increase their revenue by 58 percent there's only one possible way they had to at least double their output versus last year the same goes for Longy, their recorded turnover was up 52.35% versus the first quarter of last year. And amazingly, even their profit increased by 36.5% amidst a price war. How is this happening? Well, enormous solar panel deployment to the point where I believe solar panel deployment now is probably at around three times what it was at in the first quarter of last year. JA Solar. They announced quarterly revenue of four and a half billion US dollars. That's an increase for them of 66.23% versus 12 months ago. So all these three companies, right, their revenue is up at least 55% versus 12 months ago. And lastly, the fourth company here, Trina Solar. Their revenue was 21.32 billion yen or around 4.8 billion US dollars. That was an increase in revenue for the company of 40%. However, they recorded a profit increase of 225%. So what we're seeing here is globally historic solar penetration, enormous solar deployment to the point where I don't know why we're not hearing about it. We should be hearing about this. This is just insane numbers because, because this is approximately a 52% increase in revenue versus 12 months ago in a market where prices have come down, meaning Solid panel deployments have to have gone up by at least 100% minimum versus the first quarter of last year. Crazy times. What a time to be alive. You know what? This solar panel energy, not just solar, but solar, wind, and battery, this disruption of fossil fuels, it's happening quicker than than anyone except for someone such as Tony Sieber predicted. I'm very confident that we can, in fact, stave off the, the worst effects of global warming. It's going to be tough. But considering the changes in local governments, in government policies all around the world, governments have suddenly changed and gone, you know what? Germany, we're going to be 80% renewable by 2030. Australia, we're going to be more than 90% renewable by 2030. This is happening everywhere. What a time to be alive. Thank you for watching.